Right guys, with the January transfer window now closed, um, I, I think one team who will be slightly disappointed with how it went is West Ham, uh, purely because they got very little business done. And um, uh, like when they're in the big race for top four with three other teams who are probably uh, at higher odds to get that fourth spot behind Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea. Um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a problem for West Ham and I, I, like, I'm wondering, is it a bit of a missed opportunity because um, they're, they're doing well, they're, they're in the Europa League and um, you know, they, they finished sixth the last season and it looks like they could potentially again uh, finish it, finish there this season. I'm, I mean, the lowest it's looking like they'll finish this season is seventh, uh, uh, the way it's going. And um, the problem West Ham are going to have, though, is because they're not like an elite club yet in, in English football, um, like they're, they're at risk of losing some of their best players, I think, in the summer. Players like Declan Rice, Jared Bowen, uh, potentially uh, other players like, uh, I don't know, uh, Four Nows, maybe. Uh, yeah, like they're, they're, they're not all their best players are guaranteed to continue with the club. It, it, especially if they feel they can move on to a higher level. Like, it's already well known that Liverpool are interested in Jared Bowen, uh, Chelsea and Man United are both interested in Declan Rice. So what, what I'm saying is if West Ham don't get Champions League this season, is it a missed opportunity? And if they miss out on it this season, can they get it next season? Which I, I think it's a bit of a now or never moment, really. And the, the fact that um, the owners haven't really tried to sign anyone this January, they, they, they put in a few late bids like uh, for, I think it was Calvin Phillips and Rafinha from Leeds. Um, but that, that just feels a bit like um, a, like putting bids in that you, ne you know are never going to happen just to make it look like you've tried to do something. Um, to like to make to keep the fans happy, and yeah, but it, 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 I I don't think they're going to get top four now, and I I struggle to see them finishing fifth either. I think sixth might be the best they can do this season, even though they are currently fifth. But Arsenal and Tottenham have games in hand on them. Um, yeah, it does feel a bit like. Where West Ham aren't going to get Champions League football, um, yeah, which I mean is is a bit disappointing for West Ham because I I don't feel as though although that their recruitment over the past couple of years has been very good, I still feel like um, they really needed to buy someone this January like uh, like a striker, not not that Mikel Antonio is bad or anything. But um, he, he's their only real striker and he, he's very injury prone. And also, you, you also need like options. You need different players like to do different things. Antonio is um, very, very good at sort of linking up play and uh, on, on the counter-attack, he, he's physical. But you, you also, you know, you need someone who's a bit more of a poacher, uh, like at times and West West Ham don't have that they they could also uh, do with do another centre back they could also do with probably another midfielder because behind Declan Rice and Thomas Suchek there's Mark Noble and that's pretty much it really there's Alex Kral as well but he, he ain't done much since coming to the club so yeah it, it does feel like that they're not going to get Champions League um, and if, if they don't get Champions League, will the players like Declan Rice and Jarrett Bowen leave? I think they probably will, to be honest, because they they are two players who are definitely Champions League quality players, in my opinion. I think maybe that ship might have sailed for uh, Mikel Antonio, 
and uh, Michael Antonio and who am I thinking of? Uh, Aaron Cresswell, Vladimir Sufal, maybe not Thomas Suchek, but you know, players who are getting on a bit now. Um, yeah, but I, I think West Ham fans have every right to be a bit disappointed with it. Um, yeah, that, that's that's my thoughts on it, really. Um, I can't see West Ham getting top four now. Um, and also, their, their form recently, they've lost their last two, but before that, they won three. And then going back before that, bar a win over Chelsea at home at the start of December, their form between mid-November and just after Christmas was quite poor, Ex like excusing that uh, win over Chelsea. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they'll get top four. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.